Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Legla, a special feature. And now, we have done a little bit of enhanced progression. Now, as you can probably see, we have nine units in our company here, or should I say, 91 units. Oh, yes. Now, this is obviously an army that is going to be suitably enough, hopefully, to take on a couple of guys in field battles. Hopefully, some of these... English vassals, we'll see if we attack them, because who knows, we might be able to even siege something. I think exploring the siege mechanics in this mod might be an idea, because I think, for some reason, I have a belief that this fellow that has created this mod, or shall we say fellows, if it is indeed a team, has done such an amazing job on the scenes and everything that I feel as though he surely has changed the siege mechanics but obviously I have no idea at the moment so we will see we will see in just a second so before we do anything like that I do want to explore the military depot which we heard about in the previous episode so enter the depot now we have four different options right here one is a recruiter which as you can probably tell you can recruit things from so Troops can be purchased here. Troops are purchased one at a time. Recruiting flag bearers requires 30 of one type of infantry or 20 of guards or cavalry. And obviously because this is alpha, not all troops currently have an associated standard bearer. So let's recruit some standard bearers. No, it appears we do not have the eligible troop for that. And so let's go to the quartermaster. Now this is excellent. I really like this. Select which class of uniforms you would like to browse. Well, let's go with infantry. Uniforms can be purchased here. Clicking a name will take you to a menu where you can preview the items before buying them. NCO and officer's uniforms only appear when you are of sufficient rank. Check back when promoted. So, as we can see here, I think I'll probably go for a foot guard grenadier. And as you see, you get a very nice helmet. Goodness me, it's actually really good. And I think I will be buying some of these. Why not? Let's do it. Then we will look the part, I suppose. Ooh, let's go for that. Ooh, that's looking cool. That is looking cool. I gotta say, that is looking really cool. So, yeah, there we go. We've just changed our outfit, and you can actually do that with any of these. You can have a kilt if you want to. You can go with everything along here. You can even go... Wait a minute. There's the armorer, but yes. You can even go for cavalry. So you could be a dragoon guard if you wanted to. You could even get a horse from here, which I don't exactly need because I've already gotten one, but... If you do need one, then you can always come to the military depot, and you can get one very easily indeed, so that's always nice. Now the armorer, of course, gives you an India Pattern Service musket. I already have a British Infantry Rifle slash sword. Now I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. I haven't used it yet in combat. We do have this, though, a British Infantry Rifle. That is insane! Oh my goodness, I have to go for this. I have to go for that. I mean, seriously, look at that. 100 damage, 100 accuracy. This has 100 damage, 90 accuracy, 35 speed, but whoa, okay, that's impressive. And we also have, aha, I think I'm going for that as well. New sword. Wow, this is actually really cool. Okay, so wait a minute. We need to get some musket cartridges, of course. Can't go without those. And there we have it. Okay, thank you very much. I did not check this, obviously, beforehand, because I wanted to check it while we were on camera. And now we can go to the arsenal, which is exactly what I looked at beforehand. And I just wanted to see. Presently, you have naught pieces, or zero pieces of artillery in the party. You currently can own up to two pieces. In battle, cannons are placed in control group nine. Recruit 12 pounder. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it. Now, I don't think it joins us in our party at the moment. No, it does not. I suppose it joins us while we are in a siege or indeed a field battle as well. So, all I need to do now is try to find a potential vassal to attack. Or should I take a, on a vassal? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I really do want to attack a vassal or maybe even King George III. He's not going to be very happy with me. I would expect, but still, I think it would be a rather cool idea to see all of our musket men just firing off into the distance and seeing what we can hit, and of course I would join them as well, but yeah, this reminds me actually, this seems to be like a single player version of Napoleonic Wars, the multiplayer warband mod, which 
you know, has always fascinated me how people are so good with their muskets, but yeah, we will see. We will see without further ado once we make our way around here and aha! Aha, okay. Let's see. Can we do some damage to these guys? I'd like to take on the guy with a reasonable amount of... Wow, he actually has some good units. Okay, yeah, I'd like to take this guy on, if at all possible. 93 units. I don't think that's going to be too much bother for us. Do I know you? No, you don't yet. Your fame runs before you. Yes, it does. <laughs> of course. Okay, I do not know. I'm here to deliver you my demands, or do you have any tasks for me? Warning, this line should never display. Oh. Ah. I see. That's quite a problem. Aha. Okay, wait a second. I think I might be able to... Oh. Uh... Wait, can I not show this on map? Why does it not give me that option? Oh, uh, it's because I'm not... Oh my goodness. No! Why? Okay, so, yes, disclaimer. This is in alpha still, so if you click on... Do you have a task for me? Then <laughs> I have some problems with it, I suppose. But, yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so once again, we are now within the company of Sir Arthur Wellesley, and we will be engaging upon him, and we will see whether we will be able to do any damage this time. So I'm not going to say, do you have any tasks for me, even though it might actually work this time, but yeah, we're not going to cross that bridge again, so let us, without further ado, just engage him in battle. Your relation with the United Kingdom has deteriorated. Oh yes, of course it has. Okay, so now let us do it. We are very even, and I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to deal some good damage here. So I am on a horse, as is customary. I went back and bought another cannon because I thought it might be fun. And we do need to get all of our units into a good position here, just to make sure that we don't run into anything too untoward. But as you can see, we have a lot of grey jacketed fellows here as well, which is rather cool, i got to say. So let's see here. Our opponents are very far away, but it appears that we are still deciding to shoot off in the distance. Really should not have engaged in the trees, I do believe. That probably would have been a bad idea at any point. Hmm. Where are they, anyway? They're right in front of me, apparently, but I can't see them. Okay, I'm just going to tell my units to come ahead, because I did want to get our cannons firing, and they are firing, but... We will see in a second just how much they are. Oh my goodness, they have some of these guys. Oh dear. No, I can reload on a horse. That's good. I like that. I like being able to reload. Okay. Oh my. Okay. I did not realize they had cavalry, which is somewhat bad. But I think we'll be okay. Oh my goodness. Maybe not. Okay. Let's get out the sword. Do some damage. Oh my goodness, okay. Come on, guys. You gotta reload your muskets. Reload your... Oh my. Oh dear. Oh, thank you very much. Someone helped me. And then I got absolutely massacred by 96 damage. Oh my. That's exactly how it's going to be, I do believe. Okay, let's take a look here now. Let us see the absolute carnage that our muskets are giving. Look at all of the dust that they're kicking up. That is insane. And, of course, we do have our French artillery officers, by the looks of things, that are using their cannons to good effect, I hope. I have not seen any cannon strikes so far, so I'm not entirely sure whether that is in this version, but... From what I can tell, all of the flashes from the muskets' muzzles are actually very cool at the moment. I have to admit that... I am quite impressed. I am quite impressed. The only thing that I would love to see in a future version, if the creator or creators are happening to watch this, is the ability to order our units after we are dead. Because, you know me, I die incredibly quickly in these things, and I would like to be able to open up our orders menu and be able to command our units to charge in or something along those lines. Because right now... The only reason they're charging is because they have no more ammunition left. And I would really like it to be a little different from that. So I think we'll retreat. 
That was a good encounter in my opinion. We took out 76 of his units and we only lost 11, so that's not too bad. And I suppose we can now charge them once again. We do have a lot of first aid skill, thankfully enough. Oh, perhaps not too much first aid skill, but we have enough to give us a little bit of HP. And our horse got absolutely massacred in the previous bout, so let's hopefully try to prevent that from happening again. Oh my... Oh dear, this kind of doesn't bode well for any siege mechanics that we're going to do. But I will do the siege mechanics just to show you guys what it's like and what kind of thing you can come to expect from those. So let's have a look here. Only 21 units remain and I'm hopeful that I will not get taken out immediately once again. Okay, wait a minute. We need to get up here. There we are. Okay, I think that's a good... Where? Where was that guy? I have no idea. That was a snipe if ever I saw one. Oh, I was running into them. That's why. Okay. Yeah, that was bad of me. But I suppose I have told my units to go ahead of us right here. And I suppose it does give us a greater spectacle to see our units just firing off here. And as you see, they have some pretty good rifles, i got to admit. Maybe I should have bought some of their rifles. The light infantry might have been an idea. Come on, take him down. Poke him to death. That's what we like to see. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sure the real musketeers were not as bad as these guys at poking people. Uh, yes, yes, come on. You can take this guy out. There's a lot of people aiming against him. He's attempting to strafe. Did you see that? His AI was telling him to strafe so that he wouldn't get hit. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there we go. He eventually was taken out. And a victory has been attained against Sir Wellesley. And we will now be heading on to nearby Cardiff. And we will attempt to take that as our first conquered fief. Oh, he actually has a cannon. He actually has two cannons. That's not good. Okay, let's hope that they don't have enough time to fire. Let's hope, anyway. I'm really hopeful that our units will just... Yeah, there we go. Advance upon them and kill them with as much musket shot as they can. So far, so good, I have to admit. Okay, well, yeah. I was hoping that he wouldn't have as many cavalry units, but maybe if he really wanted to be very effective which I'm not particularly wanting to be effective in this special feature. I just want to have fun and obviously showcase the various features that the mod has. And obviously, if you were to have a full cavalry army, then I think you'd probably be, yeah, actually in a very good position because even if you did sieges, well, sieges I think would be a totally different thing. I suppose we'll see in just a second what kind of siege we will be expecting. But yeah, I do believe that will be fine. We'll see though. He did manage to escape as well, which is unfortunate. We have some musket cartridges here, some horses and so forth, and we don't need, really need to take anything else, do we? Not really. So, let us move over to Cardiff here. I don't believe we will be attacked by anyone else, because we are just suspicious at the moment, so we can basically run around in the United Kingdom without any problems whatsoever. So let's wait here for some time. And we'll see what we can do about rejuvenating ourselves and rejuvenating our units. And then we will be sieging Cardiff as best as we can. Of course, there are a lot of units around here, a lot of vassals that I've seen, so I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm actually really worried that they will decide to interrupt us at the most critical point in our siege equipment being constructed. So, I'm, it's going to be quite difficult, I do believe. Quite difficult indeed. So. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. So, yeah, let's go in. 162. Prepare siege works. It will take three hours. Oh, okay. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I do not know. Okay, we're fine. Let's do this. How much HP do we have? Please have a lot. Ah, oh, half. That's terrible. Okay, well, let's at least admire the amazing nature of the siege equipment that we currently have. We have to walk all the way over there? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, dear. 
Oh my goodness, I did not realize we were going to be forced into basically a killing field at the moment. Oh my. Oh wait! Oh, they've added some very cool strategic points on the map here that you can use for cover, if you so desire. Please don't let me get killed. Please don't let me get killed. Yeah, you could kind of use this as cover if you wanted to. It's actually not cover, it's supposed to be an artillery bombardment point, I suppose, but... Whoa, okay. Let's be careful here, shall we? Wow, you had to be brave to run through this, that's for sure. I cannot imagine how brave those men back in the day were. Wow. Okay, well, let's see. Let's go first person to get a little bit of a better experience going on here as well. And I'm actually wondering... Oh my, yes, Cardiff does have 156 units stationed in its garrison, so I think we're going to have a great deal of difficulty. But... It is just a showcase. It is just a showcase what the siege mechanics are like, and this is what you can expect, I suppose. I can imagine that defending a siege is probably going to be a lot more fun than charging into the muskets. Okay, come on, let's try. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait a minute. I actually have to stand still to reload? Yeah, I do believe I have to do that. Oh no. Standing still to reload. The worst thing. Oh no, come on, come on. Let's do this. Yes, there we are. Okay, now let's try and take out that guy. Or not. <laughs> I have not killed anyone with this musket the entire episode. Really, okay. Need to try to see what's up with that. That's for sure. Okay, I'm going to see if I can tell everyone to hold position over here. And we'll see if that makes a difference, because if we're in a line, surely that would mean that we have a lot more chance to kill something? Well, whatever the case, we are getting massacred right now, so I'm hopeful that we'll be able to prevent us from dying any further, but... Yeah! There we go! We took out one unit. <laughs> our first unit with this musket. Hopefully not our last. I'm hopeful that all of our units are going to be coming over here and... Attempting to take these guys out. The one thing I would like is... Hmm... Maybe not to die very soon. Let's be careful here. I'm actually crouching down in real life because I have a feeling that I'm going to get shot. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Come on, let's do this. Oh, okay. Let's not. Okay, let's reload. Thank you very much. Hmm... Okay, I think I probably need to move our units a little bit closer, if they actually listen to me. Maybe I should tell everyone to... No, not that. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. Oh, left platoon! Center platoon, right platoon! Whoa, okay, that is... yeah, that's quite... impressive, to say the least. Okay, wait a minute, we can tell them to fire here as well. Whoa, okay. That's definitely new to me. Oh my. That was not a good idea, I think. Not a good idea to tell my units to come over here. Okay, fire at will, please. Fire at will. We're actually not doing too badly. If only my fellows would actually come a little bit closer, we might have a chance at being able to take this. Which would be amazing. There we go, point blank. I'm using it like a shotgun. Yeah, that's definitely not the way that you want to go. Come on, stab him! No. Yes, stab him! Oh, no, no, no. Don't stab me, how dare you! Oh, no, no. Crouch down. Ooh, that was close. Almost got my head blown off right there. Or at least, I think so. Oh, there's a couple of guys over there as well, as you can see. There is actually a fellow attempting to shoot me at the moment. I'm hopeful that he's not going to be too accurate while I reload. If he's going to hit me here, I'll be sad. No, no, okay. Excellent. Oh yeah, 46 damage. Very nice indeed. Now, let's see here. Mm, wow. I gotta say that the, <laughs> the sieges take quite a long time. And that's quite a nice change, because usually you either see, oh yeah, you're just gonna lose immediately, or you see a lot of your units killing a lot of things, and... 
it's never usually this slow, which is actually quite nice, i got to say, because at least then you do get a chance to actually participate in the fight, because usually when I'm doing these things, I do get taken out, as you can probably see evidently from the previous field battles getting taken out instantly. Never a good sign, is it? I am doing some pretty considerable damage, though, which is always nice. Having 100 accuracy with a rifle always makes a huge difference, of course. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm wondering whether I should do a Rambo thing in just a second, but we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Take out that guy as well. Thank you very much. Okay, now I'm going to reload this one more shot and take a shot at some of these fellows inside the battlements, I suppose, if you could call them battlements. And, yeah, take out that guy. Or not, because I just shot into the basket. Hmm. Put the lotion in the basket or you get the hose again. Yes. It's probably not a good... Ooh, not a good idea. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Take him down. Take him down. Yes, thank you very much. Now, don't get shot. Don't get shot. Oh, no. No. Yes. Take him down. No, you cannot use the butt of your rifle against me. I am invulnerable to that sort of thing. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's just hide behind here a little bit. Hopefully they won't be able to get headshots. Is anyone shooting me from behind? No. Okay, so I can reload, potentially. Can I reload? Oh, no. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, they're missing. This is good. Oh. Yep. Not too good. <laughs> okay. Well... My head is completely off. Look at that. Yep. Yep. They completely destroyed it. Okay. Well, <laughs> that is a little look at the siege mechanics and the field battles of Allegla. And we will now be ending this special feature off here. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.